We're on like, what, number 16 of Five Nights at Freddy's? Kidding. But the fifth installment of Five Nights at Freddy's is called Five Nights at Freddy's World, which was just released like a week ago and it's already been pulled from Steam. Freddy's World was rushed and released way too early in order to keep up with the surprise early releases that Scott, the creator, likes to do for each game. Unfortunately, that didn't work out this time, as the game was clearly unfinished and getting much lower reviews than Scott was hoping for. While the reviews were still very positive, around 87%, Scott wasn't satisfied with that rating. He decided to pull the game from Steam and asked Valve to refund the game in full no matter how long the player has had the game. So if you've got the game, get it refunded now because it's gonna be free. Scott says that he's still gonna be working on Freddy's World to polish it up. He said he's busy creating a fully 3D overworld which should have been a thing from the start since literally in the trailer they showed a 3D overworld. Kind of false advertisement, because when you get in game it's some weirdly bad pixel thing. Anyways, he says that when he's ready to release the updated version of the game, he'll replace the demo that's currently on Game Jolt with the full version of the game, and from that point forward the game will always be free. Smart move. I haven't actually played any of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. I know that they've been wildly popular, and since they're starting to get a little bit repetitive, he wants to create something that's totally different, while still related to the game. Freddy's World is a cute and fun version of the popular characters. I'm thinking he's hoping to reel in some new players and find a way to keep passing players still within the franchise. And I think that's actually really smart on his end. Like I said, I didn't take the chance to jump on the bandwagon and decide if I really enjoyed playing these games or not, but I do hope that he comes back to release an excellent revised version of the game because I do know a lot of people that really love the franchise. And for anyone who doesn't know what the new Freddy's World game is going to be about, it's a new RPG that's going to be based around the jump scare franchise, just a cuter version. Honestly, I watched Jacksepticeye play it and it looked kind of bad. Maybe it's just something that I'm not interested in, but it just didn't look that good. Like, a popular title should never be allowed to look graphically how it does unless you're into some really bad nostalgia. There are two modes in the game, Adventure and Fixed Party. Adventure mode lets you find all of the characters as you play, and Fixed Party mode starts you out with two fixed teams, which is apparently a more difficult version. This reminds me a lot of Pokemon, where you kind of select your attacks and then you go back and forth attacking each other until until one of you die. Hopefully not you. So I guess if you're either a Five Nights at Freddy or Pokemon fan, this game will be really great for you. From what I've seen so far, there also doesn't seem to be a tutorial mode. So you kind of jump in without knowing what's really going on or what any of the attacks are good for or anything about your character stats. The overworld, like I said, is some flat, weird pixel world thing. And as you walk around the overworld, you run into characters to interact with or enemies to fight. I think that's a pretty good basic summary of this game so far. Hopefully we'll get an awesome new trailer to go along with an awesome new revised game. Sorry if this was too harsh. I know that you guys are used to my fun and goofy random videos, but I saw this and I felt like it deserved some brutal honesty. So I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And you can even check me out on my channel, Brits Games. All the links are below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Goodbye. It was the best thing since the Big Bang. I don't know about that, comparing the Big Bang to sea slugs. <laughs> what do we have now? Four scopes again. Uh-oh. We've already talked about all these things. <gasps> Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.